Hi all, today I'm going to be unboxing a MagSafe wallet. Kind of looks very similar to the case box, so I assume it would take force to pull it up. Boom. And here it is. There's already a mock card in there. I'll push that up. Takes considerable force to push that up. I think it'd be something I'd learn to do. Cool, it teaches you how to slot something in. There you go. That's the that's the wallet. It's the size of my palm. A little bigger than my palm, really. And per usual, really light in terms of the box content. And I'll report back once I've had some time to use it. So this is what it would look like if you attach the wallet to the phone. Just to show you what the MagSafe wallet case looks like with the um, phone case of the same color. As you can see that the color is a little bit different um, in the, with the phone case versus the wallet, which I think it's because I've used the case for longer, the phone case for a little bit longer. So I think it's patinaed a little bit. So this is what the wallet will look like on a bare iPhone 12 Pro Max. When I say bare, there's a, a clear skin on the phone currently in, in this video, but the color hasn't changed much. So you can um, simulate that this is what it's going to look like for you as well. Now that I've used the wallet for a couple of days, look, if I'm taking that off, um, I'll have to uh, attach it or detach it from the corner. But once it's attached, it doesn't actually fall off that easily. So uh, I think it'll be relatively secure unless you're really trying to put the phone and the case and uh, the wallet into a very, very tight spot. If you're wearing really, really skinny jeans, I, I can see that it would actually not attach, but otherwise it's fine, at least from my point of view. I don't think this will come as a surprise to many people, but you do need to remove the wallet from the phone to be able to charge it wirelessly. If you have three standard size cards in the wallet, they're going to be very um, tightly held by the wallet. So you'll have to use the hole in the back to push, which is relatively easy to get used to from my experience. And once the wallet is nicely aligned to the wallet, it's relatively um, secure and you get used to it. You kind of get a sense of where the magnet is. So you can just put it on and then it just attaches securely. So by acquiring this wallet, I was hoping to think about having to find my wallet a little bit less because it will always be attached to my phone but as, as I mentioned before for charging you'll have to um, take it off and it does add a little bit of bulk to the phone so I do find that I sometimes remove it 
and when I say bulk, it always uh, it also adds a little bit of weight to that as well. And as you know, iPhone Pro 12 Max is a relatively heavy phone in itself, so it adds a little bit on top of that. So I think I will be detaching it a little bit more, and because the uh, compartment is so uh, tight, I don't think I'll be able to attach things like tile or anything which means I might be searching for my wallet um, as much as I have been before. Having said all of that, I do love the design. I love the color of it, and I love that it matches my Saddle Brown case really well. And even if I don't have the case on, with the silver and the Saddle Brown, it does look quite nice, at least to me. And additionally, because it attaches so securely, if I'm outside the home, I won't be looking for my wallet. I don't think I'll be detaching it that often, really. So I think I won't be losing my wallet, which is worth the price from my point of view. I think your mileage, of course, will vary. So that's been my experience. And, and thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to put it down below in the comment section. Otherwise, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video, if you could click like, and if you wanted to see more video, if you could subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.